Hi guys, it's Saturday the 22nd of April and I thought I'd show you this rocket composter. We finally got the electrics in so we can run it up. Starting out the front here, we've got our basic control panel. First light just says it's on. This is for the heater element inside. So if I turn it up, you should see the light come on, which it already is. But if I turn it down, it switches off. So it self-regulates its own temperature. Then over here we've got the speed setting. This is basically how often it rotates the mixture that you've got inside. And these are a manual override just forward and reverse for the turning screw. We'll get to that in a minute. If we open up the front panel, you can see here the drive motor. It's got a first reduction box and a second reduction box. And this is the main shaft that goes right up through the middle. Over here we have a little dosing control which basically pumps up whatever's in a bucket that I've got here. At the moment it's just water. It's a little bit discoloured because I've had some runoff back through this drain pipe. So that just makes sure it doesn't get too wet inside. And this is the back end of the control unit. As you can see you've got the heater sensor, which are these two little red wires. These two tiny little red wires, they sense the heat and as it's required, switches on these two heater elements. I believe they're both one kilowatt. Yep, yeah, 1000 watt. So it's like your little bar element, and they sit somewhere inside this whole um, box system, and they will just keep it warm. So it's pretty straightforward, really. If we just close the door up. We can have a look inside. In here I've just got some wood chip because that's all we've got available at the moment. But what I've done is I've made up some nettle tea and that's basically my nitrogen activator. And I've mixed a whole load of that in as I've been filling with wood chip and hopefully that will help rot it down rather than just waiting on the wood chip itself because being quite carbon based it's going to take a while so if I switch it on we should hear it dosing and turning so there it goes turning away mixing it up and over here hopefully you can see that it's just pumping some water in there just to keep the moisture content up. And it just mixes it bit by bit. You'll see the big paddles as it comes up. There we go. Big lump of steel. And here comes another one. And there'll be a few more all the way up. And there's another one. So you can see they're sort of fairly staged. And the idea is that as it mixes it, it slowly pushes it up towards the other end, towards the exit. And there's another one. And it mixes away. And if need be, we can put it in reverse. And that just helps bring some of the material back down to this end and when it's on full auto it does a little bit of reverse and then puts it into forward and as it moves along here it rots down and it comes up to the other end well, I've just got a builder's sack here and it drops out down here there's the hole, and if we go up inside, I don't know how 
well you can see that but there's a whole load of paddles and a whole load of muck all the way back down to the front so it just works its way up and when it's done it drops out into this sack here so I'm expecting the first few bits to come out probably won't be very well composted down but as we start to build up the material inside and start getting all the bacteria and any fungi that can survive at that sort of temperature once they all get established it should start to come out a little bit better I want to get more of a, a mix so hopefully we can get some manure and add that to the wood chip and that should hopefully balance out the carbon in the wood chip versus the nitrogen in the manure and fingers crossed we get some really nice compost so that's basically it it all does it by itself I'm going to turn the speed down so it doesn't mix so often because I want it to just take its time it's only been on for a little while so it hasn't really got up to temperature yeah, and wood chips still feel cold so I'm going to let them sort of build up over time and um, hopefully we'll start producing a lot of compost for the site we certainly need it so I think that's pretty much it any questions just drop me a note and I'll try and answer them as best as possible there we go it's all RCD protected lovely job alright that's it for now Bye.